So one of the things that we know about young children and about their brains is that the majority of neurons, the majority of connections that occur um, in a child's brain that they will have for the rest of their life occur before they are three years of age. Like it's, it's an insane amount of connections that occur. And those connections are driven by the experiences that children have. So a lot of people understand the importance of academic learning for children, you know, in year one or year two or year three. And, you know, academic learning is really important then. But children's brains are already mostly formed. The, the neurons in their brains are formed at that point in time. So one of the reasons that we place a great deal of emphasis in Montessori on um, how we teach children and the experiences that we set up for children is because we know this is going to drive the physical creation of their brain. Their brain is actually going to be hardwired and physically built by the experiences that they have before they are three years of age. So within a Montessori classroom, within a Montessori education environment, there's a great deal of effort put in by the adults into thinking carefully about everything that is in there. Uh, the tables that are there, the chairs that are there, the activities that are there, and also how those activities happen, because we know that whatever work we put in at that age is gonna serve that child for the rest of their life. One of the other things that we are very focused on in Montessori Early Education is this thing called the work cycle. And the work cycle is a period of time, we ideally look for three hours, in which we try not to interrupt the children. Um, and so it's referred to as the in, uh, the um, uninterrupted work cycle. Um, the reason for this focus on, the un, on, on it being uninterrupted is that we know that children have their own rhythm, their own cycle. Children, young children are extremely independent, egocentric, self-centric learners. And so they need to do it in their own rhythm, in their own pace. And when we stop them and start them according to adult um, ideals or adult schedules, what happens is that we interrupt them. And it's kind of like when you're doing something really difficult, like, you know, balancing your, your finances or something like that, and people keep interrupting you halfway through and it's much harder to get into the swing of it. So we create this period of time called the uninterrupted work cycle, where we try really hard not to um, change what the children are, are doing and the rhythm and the flow that they're in. The other thing that we know, why three hours, the other thing we know about early, um, uh, about the way the work cycle works, is that towards the end of it is when you get the best quality work. It's when they, most of their in-depth, really intense learning happens is in mm -hmm. that last half hour or so, 45 minutes, half hour. Mm -hmm. So if you shorten the work cycle, what happens is they never get to the good bit. <laughs> they just start to settle in and then we have to stop them because it's sleep time, they're too tired, they're too hungry, they're too whatever. So we try really hard to kind of create this scenario where we've built the foundation and then they can get to this really important, really precious time mm -hmm. that is gonna enable them to do their best work, their best learning, their best creation of themselves. And um, so we're very careful about who's in the space at that time. And as adults, the, the adults who are there, that we are trying to follow the rhythms of the child and not the rhythms of the adult.